Yeah, we're booking along. I don't know if you can derail this thing. Hopefully not, because uh, it looks like I'm working on it. Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, playing Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. I'm going to give you guys a quick look at this game that releases on March the 23rd. They give it like Car Mechanic Simulator, except for with big trains, and I'm actually kind of excited to try this out. You guys seem to have been enjoying some of the mechanic type games that we've played recently, so I thought I'd give this a try. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to go into game here. Now, I did briefly play this game just to get a little bit familiar with what's going on, but we're going to jump into the new game here and we will kind of go through the tutorial missions and show you guys just how this works. All right, welcome to Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. You are a train mechanic and your task will be to repair rail vehicles in three different workshops. Under your care will be both archaic and simple steam engines as well as very modern electric locomotives. Each locomotive will be assigned to a garage adapted to repair its respective type. Good luck. So let's go ahead and jump right into here. Now, as you can see, we have a huge workshop here. Uh, this is the, I believe this is the, uh, diesel engine workshop there's like a steam one and there's a electrical or like a modern one so just like car mechanic simulator we'll have a job order the uh, train will pull in we'll have to see what's wrong with it and either do repairs or you've got this little tablet here I'm gonna go ahead and skip some of these little tutorial uh, messages and you can order parts and install them here so let's go ahead uh, let's walk into our main office and go to a work order let's start out with our first mission here that's just going to teach us a little bit about the work order. Uh, job order number one, welcome to the game Train Mechanic 2017. Your first mission will be simple train repair so that you can become familiar with the basics of the game. Your task will be repairing a locomotive in which the steel and rubber springs in the front truck have been damaged. Alright, so we've got our little income here and there's a bonus on the line of 500. I don't know if we get that immediately or I think that's if you complete the objectives here. So here's our job order number one. Apparently the defect is in the front trunk. So yeah, you can see all like the estimated cost and how much you can get. Uh, you have like these little bonuses uh, for low cost or if you complete some sort of achievement. So let's try to do this here. Let's go look at the train itself. And I have to say, uh, while graphically the game's pretty good, uh, where it's at is the amount of detail in the trains themselves. You can basically pull these things apart. Here, let me uh, show you guys this little body view. Uh, you can see the engine there, the fuel tank, you've got the back truck, and you've got the front one. So apparently the problem is in the front truck. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, you can go into this mode called condition mode. So let's click into this. Uh, right now we're in disassembly. This is where you can pull off the parts. Uh, you've got an installation mode is two and then testing mode is three but what I want to hit is the C this is condition mode so this will kind of give you a bit of an idea as to what's actually wrong I believe the parts that need to be pulled and repaired or anything that looks kind of rusty like these two rubber springs here on the right side of the truck so let's go to disassembly mode which we're in right now now, I do wish the uh, actual disassembly part was a little bit more, I don't know, hands-on, because this is basically all it is. Uh, you select the part, and you can hold down and remove the bolts here. So, we're going to remove these, and we've got one more to remove. I believe this is it. Uh, it was complaining about the steel and rubber... What are these actually called? I had, I had it pulled up. Here, let's uh, back off this. So, those are uninstalled, and let's go to our little parts warehouse. Alright, so in this window you can manage your spare parts, you can sell them, then profit from the resale, which will decrease the amount of the account. The better the parts condition, the more profit you will generate. So, we've got two parts here. I don't think we can repair these. Let's see, is that possible? Well, you've got these three little workbenches back here. You've got an electrical, you've got a mechanical, and then you've got like a hydraulic one over here. Uh, I don't know if we can repair these. Let's see, this is a tutorial about the workbench. Yeah, you can see uh, the steel and rubber springs in here. You can try to repair these. This costs money. Uh, this doesn't always work, though. That's the problem. It seems kind of random. So I think for the sake of the first mission, we're just going to go ahead and order some new springs. And then we can always sell the ones that we have here. So let's go into mechanical parts. Uh, let's see. Rubber springs. Let's go ahead and add two of those to the cart. Let's go to shopping cart. 
And let's order those. Okay, so those will instantly appear right in our little parts list here, or parts warehouse. So let's go ahead and go back over here and hit two for installation mode. So it kind of highlights uh, what you need to install here. So let's go ahead and let's select, uh, these are no different. So let's select this one here and you just kind of screw it back in. So you get two bolts right there and then we have one more over here and then we can sell uh, these parts that are left over. It's kind of weird how this one's a little bit different than the other one because this, this one's got some bolts here at the top I gotta see which parts they're actually connected to. Apparently they're connected to a hydraulic shock absorber. So, all right, everything's repaired. Looks like we're good to go there. Let's go ahead and get rid of these uh, parts here. This will save us some of the cost of the new parts. So let's do that. And I believe we are good to go here. So let's go back to our work order. All right, as you can see on this job order, we've got the two little objectives are complete. Uh, we get the bonus for low cost and for the completed achievement. So yeah, pretty good. Finish the order here. Now I do believe that you can like upgrade your workshop and do stuff like that with the money that you receive. I haven't gotten that far at all. So yeah, it says you can improve the workshop by using the tablet. Uh, we might have to look into that. Let's go and go into the tablet real quick. Uh, question is, where is all that? Improve the workshop down here. All right, so you've got stuff like a screw gun. You can improve the workbenches. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, we don't really have the money to work with that yet. Let's go ahead and go back and accept another work order. All right, job number two. The driver complains about a faulty brake system. Locate the cause of the defect and make repairs. This work order is slightly more difficult. Remember that each part type is repaired on a different workbench. And if you're not able to repair the part yourself, you can always buy one from the tablet. So let's go ahead and accept this one here. And here comes another engine. Uh, what's really cool, uh, you, you're not just limited to being inside this little shop here. Uh, eventually you will have to go out with the repair train and go tow some trains back. And Okay, this one looks relatively uh, similar to the other one. So you got the front motor truck, fuel tank, engines in there, and then the back truck. So, okay, let's look at the work order real quick. There's three parts that apparently need to be found. And it's something with the braking system. So let's go ahead and go back into here. And I always like to go into condition mode. So let's see. Now I can see it right there. The brake caliper here. The, is it the brake caliper arm? That's pretty rusty. Now what about the back brakes? That one looks okay. Is there brakes on this side? Yes. It's amazing how much detail is in here. And how they kind of mapped out all the parts. Uh, what is, what is this? We got a hydraulic brake piston and looks like we've got another one up here. Okay. So I think you have to remove this stuff kind of in order. So let's go ahead and rip off the hoses real quick. Uh, let's go into disassemble mode. Let's pull that. Let's go ahead and get this brake piston off. I don't know if that, uh, upgrade for the faster unscrewing is necessary. I don't think there's timed objectives, but the workbench upgrades would be pretty good. That way you can guarantee more repairs. So we've got that. Will this come off next? No. So let's try the caliper itself. Yeah, that'll unscrew. And then the arm will unscrew. Okay. So that looks like that's the default or that's the faulty uh, break there. Let's try to do a little bit of repairing here. So let's go into the workbench here and let's try to repair the caliper. Let's go ahead and do that. It's going to cost us $958. And this is where it's kind of random, so let's see what happens here. Ah, there we go, success. I've got one more, let's try to repair the arm here. And success, wow, that's actually fairly impressive. Uh, I've got one more, we've got a hydraulic uh, workbench here, so let's go and go into this. And we've got the hydraulic brake piston. That's a pretty costly repair. Let's go ahead and try to do this one too. Will it fail? Nope, yep, that one failed. So about the only thing we can do with that is sell that part, but we're going to need to buy a new one. So let's open up the tablet here, go into hydraulics and let's get one of the brake pistons here. It's 4,000. That's going to make us lose a little bit of money there. Uh, maybe we can make it up by uh, selling the previous part, but I don't think so. Let's look at how much that's worth. Yeah, it's only worth $441. So uh, I don't think we're going to reach all the end goals there. Uh, let's see. 
Let's go ahead and go back into installation mode. It's gonna kinda highlight what we need to put on. So it looks like the arm goes. Would that go back on first? Wouldn't the caliper go back on? Apparently the arm goes on first, okay. Let's go ahead and install it real quick. And let's go ahead and grab the uh, brake caliper. And here we go. You know, I never really played Car Mechanic Simulator that much. Uh, it kind of makes me want to go back and play it a bit. I have one of them. I don't know how old it is. But it's just something I never really got around to playing. But this is fairly entertaining. This reminds me a little bit of Revhead 2. Except for you're actually like pulling the parts off. Uh, let's go ahead and put the uh, brake hose back on. I wonder if I should have repaired that. I don't know, it seems like it's in uh, relatively good shape, so there we go. I believe this work order should be done. Yeah, that looks all good. Uh, the only thing, uh, we went over cost, so we didn't get the bonus for that, which that was $500. That's kind of unfortunate. I think the only way we could have gotten that is if the workbench wouldn't have failed that one repair. So let's go ahead and finish this order. There we go. And that one's going to pull out. And let's see, how much did we make there? 500 I think. Okay, not bad. So we've got a little over a thousand. I think we have 2,500 setting in the bank, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, now let's go ahead. We're gonna accept one more job here and uh, see where it takes us. Hopefully it's where we can go out and actually uh, go out in the repair train. I would think that's coming up soon. All right, job order number three. Sometimes the task will involve finding and repairing locomotives that were damaged somewhere on the routes in the game world. And then it, apparently you would have to tow them back off to the appropriate workshop, depending on what type of engine it is. Uh, so yeah, we get to play with the repair train, and apparently the broke down train is in square D1. So, not 100% sure what that means. Uh, let's go ahead and accept that. Uh, I did walk by the end of the garage, and I think this is how we get out. So let's go exit here and get in our little train. Kind of curious, it said the open world's at pretty big and when I say open world you're still limited to the tracks but it's a fairly big map so I don't know let's go ahead and check this out and see what it looks like okay find the locomotive in square d1 and tow it to the workshop so uh, look at this actually you know what does it have an interior camera oh uh, yes this is cool it's actually a lot of detail I wonder if you're gonna get to do any repair work on the inside like this uh, let's see we've got Increase, decrease power, got a train horn. Uh, it's so satisfying to hear that. It's actually annoying. We used to live by railroad tracks and we would hear that all the time. So anyways, we are starting off here and apparently, okay, on the right side. Oh, you can see the, uh, the switches that we're coming up to. Okay, so the map's down here. Let's slow down just a bit and locate D1. So... Let's see, we're looking for D1. Okay, D's up here, four, so let's climb up. D1 is right here. So apparently right in this square is where our locomotive is broken down. The only problem I see is there's a split right at the square. So will we go right or will we go left is the question. Now let's go ahead and pick up some speed. So let's try to map this out. Let's go ahead and climb here and let's take another peek at the map so you can see where you can switch these uh, tracks here so we're going the right way but apparently at Eastport up here we need to switch that track to the right so Eastport's right here so we're gonna go and swap oh nope it switched on us Eastport's up here so that's gonna take us to the north tunnel actually that doesn't look right come on uh, no which one are we at here Let's go ahead and swap that. Esports down here. Okay, I was looking at the wrong one here. Okay, so it's going to take us up to Coastal Valley. It looks like there's a little Tokyo station over here. West Asia Valley. Valley. What is this map? This is kind of weird. Uh, this is going to take us up through here. Our next switch is going to be the northern boundary of the east. And the electrical engine depot is up there too. So, got a little bit of a trip to make. And whoa, we are actually going pretty fast here. Okay, yeah, we're booking along. I don't know if you can derail this thing. Hopefully not because uh, it looks like I'm working on it. It's actually kind of nice. Uh, I like the interior view here. Is there a purpose of those stations? I don't know. I haven't seen any crossings yet either. I really want to honk the horn at a crossing. It's like one of the best things. Okay, we are coming up on our destination here. I'm going to go ahead and slow down. Uh, we're going to take a right right here, and hopefully our train is on our... Actually, I see a green circle over there. 
Okay, so I'm hoping that's where our train's broken down. This leads around to it, right? Yeah, if we would have taken a left right there, I think we would have been completely screwed. So, that's good to know. Alright, here we go. Looks like we're gonna... Okay. Oh, apparently we don't have to actually manually do that. Okay, so... Looks like we've got an engine hooked on. It looks to be a diesel engine too, so I guess we need to go back down to the same workshop, which is way down here. That's where we came from. Hmm. What's the route we take? This seems good here. This is going to lead us all the way down. Uh, most of these routes look good here. This one, I don't know if we can switch that. That might be the only one we need to switch, but let's go ahead and fire this up and tow this train back. I haven't seen any other trains. Oh, this is a big bridge. I don't think I've ever seen a train bridge like this. This looks completely unsafe. That's actually crazy looking. Alright, so we're going to speed up here. Looks like we're going to go through some sort of valley or something. And we're going to get back over, hopefully, to that diesel depot. As long as I don't take any uh, wrong turns here, we'll be good. Oh, okay, we've got another train here. <laughs> That's weird. Can we have swapped that over and run into him head on? That's the first other train I've seen in the game. That's kind of cool. Uh, we are almost back. It looks like we might... The only switch we need to change up here is the one at the for the diesel engine depot. And it should loop us back around right into the depot. We're up here. That's kind of a neat little aspect of the game. Kind of breaks it up just a little bit. Where you're not just constantly in the workshops uh, doing repairs. Alright, so we are arriving back at the depot here. I tried to tip the train over just to see if I could do it. Uh, apparently that doesn't work. I was trying to go as fast as possible just to see if it would derail. Just trying to figure out, you know, if that was a thing, but apparently isn't. So let's go in and repair this engine. All right, just as expected, the problem proved to be a damaged transmission in the truck. Remove and replace them. Uh, which one? Front or back? Front or back? Um, where's the transmission on a train? Obviously it's in the truck. Uh, oh, these parts look really bad. Drive gears. I think that's right. Okay, let's look at the condition. Definitely is those. Now, question is, how do we remove those? There's the brake calipers around it. The engine sets right behind it. There's engine mounts up there. Okay, let's go ahead. Can we... Oh, there's a little electric motor rotor tip shaft. Okay, can this come off? All right, that pops off. And then there goes the gear. Is that it? Uh, there's an electric motor cover. Is that actually damaged? That doesn't look damaged. Uh, same way up here. Let's go ahead and look at the front here. So that's gonna be on this side. I gotta take a peek at this because I have a feeling it's not that easy. Am I missing something here? So the drive gear just pulls right off. Okay. Is that it? Am I missing something? That's the wheel axle. This is the engine mount. Here's the actual engine itself. There looks to be a there's a rotor shaft in here. That looks a little rusty. Can we pull that? Oh, we can. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull that other one real quick. We'll just check the parts. And there's a motor cover and the casing. So, hmm. Does this work order tell us anything? Okay, it is the drive gear. So, let's look at that. We might have taken off too much. Yeah, we took off too much stuff here. So, the drive gear. Can we repair it? Well, you know, now's a good time to maybe look at... Let's see. That's going to be under... Is it mechanical parts? The drive gear, electric motor casing, yes it is. So, can we upgrade that part of the shop? Uh, let's see, 800 to do that. Let's improve that to level 1. Maybe this will help us actually be able to repair these these parts. Uh, so, we've got this, a chance of 15%. I don't like these odds. Am I feeling lucky? That's an expensive part. What's our cost here? Oh, boy, 87,000. Hmm... How much do these things cost new? Is the question. Because that, I don't like my odds there of repairing that. Uh, these things new are. Maybe we can just buy new ones and sell what we have. Uh, that could very well be the best option. These are 46,000 new. So if we were to add two of those, that's 92,000. Hmm. It's a tough one, but those, uh, we have like no chance to repair those. So let's go ahead and order that. So that sticks us over budget. So, in theory, we can sell the old ones here, the old drive gears. And this will set us under budget, I think. Uh, I think so. 
Hold on, let's go check. Let's go ahead and put these in real quick and see what happens. I gotta remember the order I put all this in. Okay, half this stuff just slides in, so let's go ahead and put the shafts back in. Let's kind of get a view down here of it. And the drive gear just slides on top of it, so we got a new one there. And there's a little piece here, the little rotor tip shaft. There we go. All right, for this one, uh, let's go ahead and same thing. Everything just slides right back in. There's the drive gear. And we've got one more piece. Let's go ahead and put the rotor tip on. There we go. Technically, that's done. I believe so. All right, so there's a test mode here. In this mode, you can check the condition of the various train elements to estimate the profitability of the repair. Remember, the higher level of wear to the individual elements, the greater the risk of unsuccessful repair. Doesn't it basically tell you that when you go to the workbench? I guess that's a quicker way of doing it. So, let's check the work order. Ah, look at that, we're under cost. There we go, finish that order and send that train out. That's pretty awesome. So, we pretty much nailed every objective except for in the second one because of that failed repair that we tried. But other than that, that was pretty good. But anyways, folks, that's probably going to about wrap it up for this episode. If you'd like to see more of Train Mechanics Simulator 2017, let me know down in the comments. I wouldn't be opposed to playing this a little bit more. We've got plenty of jobs to do, and I really would actually like to see the other workshops. So if you want to see more of this, let me know. Maybe smack that thumbs up button. But anyways, remember, this comes out on March the 23rd, so if you want to try it yourself, it will be available on Steam. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you!